All right, y'all, welcome to another sports card unboxing, uh, baseball card, mail call, <coughs> excuse me, whatever you want to call it. <coughs> I think this is number six. I think I said the last one was number six. It was actually number five, so this will be number six. And let's get right to it. I know you're not here to look at my oversized belly. First on the block, welcome to the show. This is a 2022 Tops insert. Welcome to the show. It's a lot that I bought. I got Ichiro, Suzuki on the front and the back. I think I have a Juan Soto. Let's see what we got hiding in the middle. Here's Juan Soto. Boom. And then some other ones that aren't in cases but are good. Albert Pujols, I'll give that to my team where the the Cardinals this year, Mike Piazza, I'll probably let him have that one too. Bryce Harper, definitely let him have that one, even though he's nice, good. Chris Bryant, another nice up-and-coming star that I'll let him have. Uh, and then Hank Aaron, I'll probably throw that one in there for him too. Um, yeah. I might make them bid on that one with points that they earn throughout the season uh, for... Giving a hundred percent effort, getting down in ready position, you know, communicating between plays. Where's the the play? How many outs are there? Where are the base runners? That kind of stuff. And just doing the stuff that they've been taught and working hard, giving their full effort, make the end of the year party a little bit funner, and trying to motivate them a little bit throughout the season to, uh, you know. Be professional, even though they're only six, seven, and eight years old. This one, whoo, doggy. It's a nine, not a 10. But it's probably worth 50 bucks, I bet. And I paid about 30. Rookie card, 1989 Bowman, King Griffey Jr. And it's rated by SGC. So they're probably like a second tier, second to third tier grading company, but definitely reputable and worthwhile. You know, PSA is gonna be number one. Uh, and then I guess I would call second tier Beckett and BGS or whatever Beckett grading service, I consider those about the same. And SGC, I'd put in there too. And then third tier, I'd start with something like GSC, the Guarantee Sports Card, or GSA, Guarantee Sports Card Authority. And then after that, there's not, you know, I'd call it fourth tier after that, and that's the ones that you've rarely ever heard of. Um, there was a Canadian one I heard of yesterday. I think it was K something, maybe KSA or something, but uh, give me a second. I'm trying to get this tape off so that my cards don't get damaged in the excavation process, we'll call it. We're unearthing them from their packaging. That present. <sighs> I do a lot of online buying and bidding and uh, mostly eBay. And I don't, I seldom look up a card. I usually just look up what it's selling for on eBay and find the the cheapest one I can find in condition I'm looking for, which in most cases are, you know, mint to near mint for the new stuff. And even for most of the old stuff, I guess I get a little more forgiving with the older it is, obviously. So here's these two Achiro Suzuki's. I think this is 2001 Baseball Heroes, Upper Deck Baseball Heroes. Or is this... Yeah, these are, these are my A-Rods, Alex Rodriguez, sorry, not his hero. And they're numbered. There's only 1,989 of them made, which of course 1989 is the year upper deck came to be. That Ken Griffey. Some packaging coming a loose out of here. Whoa, this is a... <laughs> Speaking of Ken Griffey Jr., you know, he was the star player of the 90s. 
that card, the 89 upper deck, was the the star card of the 90s, but I've heard that it was overproduced and some of the you know, higher ups at upper deck just have boxes and boxes of 89 upper deck rookies that they can just roll out at whatever point in time they want and probably do slowly all the time. <laughs> so that's why I like the uh, Bowman a lot too. I think that one, the Bowman is still undervalued. It's about a $10 card if you get it somewhere, you know, ungraded, but in apparent near mint to mint condition. You know, 10 to 20 bucks if it looks mint, mint, minty mint. Uh, again, I paid, I think upwards of 30 for that boy. Uh, because it's graded out of nine. And here's a couple more ungraded I just got in a lot. Another 89 Bowman. Bad, bad boys. See, they labeled them at 15 each. I guess is what they were trying to sell them for. But I got them in a lot for less than 10 each, I'm sure. And these at about five each or a little less. For the Donruss, 89 Donruss rookies, you know, they're near mint. I don't think any of them are, are mint, but they're all near mint. <clears throat> and then we got some of the kind of coveted Fleers, 89 rookies as well. Boom. And then three tops. I won't show you all of them, but three tops rookies as well. I think that's 89. That might be 90. Yeah, that's 90 tops, but they put the rookie cup on there that second year a lot of times. And it still goes for a little more than a normal second year would when it has that rookie cup, it seems to be. And they're trying to get 12 for this one, which is a, uh, yeah, I can see so. This is 89 score. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah, those are good. Those are rookies, 89s, babies. And then some 90 Fleers, some second years, which are really nice. They were asking eight for, you know, I'd, I'd happily sell one for a couple, two, three bucks. Um, but I think I paid 40 something for the lot. So, you know, 10, 20, five, 30, five, you know, 38. 41, 44, you know, 50. That's not perfect condition. 55, 6, 57 bucks at least. Uh, so, it's not easy to uh, get cheap deals on King Griffey Jr. rookies, even though it's all these years later, he's still. The coveted one that people are looking for, right? The goats are always in demand. King Griffey Jr. for baseball, Michael Jordan for basketball, at least for my generation. Um, football, you know, here's one of them right here. Lawrence Taylor, I'd say more Walter Payton. Lawrence Taylor's definitely defensive. Uh, and that's a sticker. I think that's like a rookie sticker, either rookie or second year. And then I'll read you the back of this next card. Lawrence was selected as NFL's Defensive Rookie of the Year in 1981. He was an all-pro performer and saw action in the Pro Bowl game. Lawrence had nine and a half quarterback sacks for losses of 87 yards during the year. And then the back of this one is just like one of those puzzle pieces to a bigger picture. That sticker one. But Yeah, I think that's a rookie or second year action shot right there. But each of those are worth probably four or five bucks at minimum. Uh, I don't think I would sell them for that cheap. But maybe just a dollar or two more. Y'all doing all right? We're at the nine and a half minute mark. These people gave me a nice thanks for buying. Took a little time out. Some people give you a few bonus cards. Some people write you a sentence. I don't usually do much of anything but put the cards in there. When I sell mine, occasionally I'll write thanks. Kind of nice. 
But I figure most people are buying on eBay. They don't even know who they're buying from. They're just going for uh, the card they want in the condition they want. Uh, the price they want, which usually means the lowest price. So this is a few more of those 2022 20, tops. Welcome to the show inserts. Looks like some good ones. We got a Mike Trout. He's one of the more valuable ones. And a Luis Robert. But there may be another one in between them. I order so much. I, don't, I can't keep up. What lots I've got coming and going in a Juan Soto. There you go. So some boom. Some serious stars right there. Those might all three be keepers. Or I might make the kids bid on them. We'll see. I've got more than a couple of these lots in the mail. And I think hopefully more than a more couple coming. I paid almost a dollar a card for these and probably over a dollar a card because this one's all the stars. But <clears throat> there's some I'm bidding on right now that are as low as 50 cents per card. So I might... Hopefully get those, one or two of those. Maybe not, maybe not. Bid up to closer to a dollar or more per card where most people are selling, but I've got like three lots. And I think some of them are even, uh, you can buy them now. It's not even for a bid. I just don't have money. I got them in my cart on the day. Let me uh, scissors off this end. Gizzery do. Let's take a little peek. Oh, this is a George Herman Roof. Old baby roof. Nestle card. Golden era. I think they made these in 80. Oh, this is 87. I think they have an 81 series too. This is the 87 one. Probably played. Three, four bucks for that. Hopefully no more, but maybe some of them sometimes are hard to get or more expensive in a good condition. But I bet you I got that one around three bucks, four bucks. Next up, <clears throat> with a thank you card, formal, I guess their business card includes a word thank you on it. You're welcome, thank you. Whoever you are, there it is. That's CMJ FTW. Thank you. A YouTuber. Maybe they do the same thing I'm doing. Maybe they have people who've actually watched their videos. I got a little bonus free card as a protector. Adam Plutko. Hey, he's a professional player. Give him that. And what I purchased. Justin Herbert Panini, probably paid a couple bucks for that. It's probably a 2021, although 2020 is his rookie. Yep, 2021 Panini. I'll put that in my football stack over here with those two Lawrence Taylors we just looked at. And we will cruise on to the final two. So I can get this tape off my fingers. Bum, 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 bum. What we have here is an hour of poo holes. I really wanted to get these, even though I paid a couple bucks for it, probably. It's a little older, it's a 08. It's upper deck, so that's nice that it's older and upper deck, but that's why I wanted to pay a couple bucks for it. And he's down in a ready position. So whoever on my team is in the ready position the most all year is going to get this in their stack. One of the more valuable cards I'll be giving them for free and not making them bid on. You know, probably, like I said, a couple bucks. Because that's one of my, I guess my pet peeve is down in the ready position every pitch. You know, it's, it's nothing but effort. It doesn't take any skill. You're doing it because you want to be ready to help your team. You know, when they hit the ball to your area, you want to be all over it because you're ready. 
That's how you do that. So that's the main thing I'm trying to impress on my kids at this age. And so this is one of those, I think, 2020 Panini Prism Stained Glasses. It's either 2020 or 2021. Uh, Juan Soto, obviously. Just the base card, not like the mosaic or any of the different colored ones they have and all that stuff. But, hey, I'm out of envelopes, so that means we're out of time. Thanks for playing along. I'll see you on the next time. Peace.